Hi, I'm Bob. Stata provides different graphic commands for different types of data. Today, let's focus on the graphs for a single continuous variable. A continuous variable can take any real number. We often examine the distribution of the variable. We can visualize the distribution and highlight where observations concentrate and get information about the mean, the median, and other statistics, and the shape of the distribution. We can create histograms, density plots, box plots, and other graphs for a single continuous variable. Let me show you the histograms first. It is the most commonly used command for distribution. It demonstrates how many observations are in a specific range. Let's take a look at the histogram of the hourly wage in the dataset I created from PSID. The dataset contains information on the workers between 25 to 54 years of age in the United States. Hourly wage is a continuous variable. The x-axis is the hourly wages, from the minimum value to the maximum value. On the y-axis, we see the density. The sum of the areas of the beans is equal to 1. From the model, we find that the highest frequency of hourly wage is around $19. The histogram gives us a clear vision of how the hourly wages are distributed. It is right skewed. Many people have low wages, and only a few people have very high wages. Let's explore the options for the histogram command. We can change the number of bins by using the option bin and putting the number in the bracket. Here's the graph for 10 bins. And here's the graph for 100 bins. We can also change the setting of the bin width. For example, we specify the bin width equals $5. We can present percentages or frequencies on the y-axis we use the percent option or the frequency option. The graphs look almost the same. The only difference is the title and the values on the y-axis. We can add the high labels to the bins. We can do that with the add labels option. Finally, let me illustrate a reason why we often use histogram to examine the distribution of a variable before we run regressions. In our example, the histogram shows that the hourly wage is right skewed. It makes the statistical inference invalid. We can transform the hourly wage to the log of hourly wage and check whether it is normally distributed. And yes, it looks much better. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.